In this problem, a big fancy house is built as shown and imparts 300 pounds per square foot of vertical stress onto the ground beneath it. Find the effective vertical stress in pounds per square foot at the given point in the soil profile depicted. So in the given figure, we can see our big fancy house imparting 300 PSF to the soil beneath it. We can see point A located in the clay, and we can see all of the respective depths relative to each other item. We also have the groundwater level called out and the respective densities of the sand and the clay. So all we need to do is find the effective vertical stress at point A. So the first thing we can do is note that the stress increases both with the depth and the density or unit weight of whatever soil is above that depth. So the first thing we can do is consider the stress just from the house. And this number is given to us directly as 300 PSF. Keep in mind that those are the units we are looking for anyway. Next, we need to find the effective stress in just the dry sand. So the section of sand to the depth of the groundwater level will be dry, and that's going to be 8 feet. So the effective vertical stress for this layer is going to be the unit weight of the dry sand times the depth of the dry sand. And this is going to give us 880 pounds per square foot. Next, we can calculate the effective vertical stress in the saturated sand. So if the total depth of the sand is 10 feet and the total dry depth is 8 feet, then the total saturated sand is going to be 2 feet. So when calculating the saturated effective vertical stress, it's important to remember that any load carried by the saturated soil is carried by both the grains of soil and also the pore pressure of the water. So in this case, we are actually going to be subtracting out the density of water from the density of our saturated sand. So first, we're going to subtract 110 pounds per cubic foot by 62.4 pounds per cubic foot, which is the unit weight of water. And you can look that up in the reference manual if you don't have that memorized. And we're going to multiply it by the saturated depth of 2 feet. And this is going to give us about 95.2 pounds per foot squared. And finally, we can solve for the effective vertical stress in the clay up to the given point here. So if the total depth of clay is 10 feet, and we know the point is 5 feet above the bottom of the clay layer, then the depth of clay remaining will be 5 feet. So just as we did before with the saturated sand, we can subtract 62.4 from the unit weight of the clay. And then multiply by the depth to which we are going. And this will give us 188 pounds per square foot. So if we sum up each of the vertical stresses that we calculated from 1 to 4, we're going to see that our total effective vertical stress is about 1463 pounds per square foot, which we can see is our second answer. A few things to point out for this problem would be to first remember to account for the groundwater at the depth that it exists, and not to try to solve the problem for a deeper point in the layer than the point being asked for. Finally, remember to account for the stress in the house that was given directly. The height of the house does not matter, but the height of the soil layers does because we were only given density instead of effective stress. But that's all it takes to solve this problem.